Ooh. All right. First things first. Start with the bev. We got Mason Aleworks Millennial Falcon West Coast IPA Double Dry. I don't know what that means, but these are good. So let's get into it. Hockey season is over for me. I've mentioned in previous videos, I work for the NHL as an LSC, which means live social contributor. Basically, I do photo and video for the social media side of the NHL. Well, this was my first season in this role, in this position, now that we are in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And those are going on Edmonton Oilers versus Florida Panthers. I am not shooting that because in each major city that they have a club, there is two LSC positions in that city, two in Vegas, two in Chicago, etc. We're not traveling. Now we're approaching game four of the Stanley Cup, my club being the Vegas Golden Knights. Once they were eliminated in round one from the Dallas Stars, that's when my season concluded. What better way to sit down, reflect, go through some I don't want to say old footage because it's this year, but go through this season's footage, photo, video, GoPro, some film, VHS, some pretty cool moments that stood out to me. This is my first season documenting hockey, actually even being at a hockey game. I hadn't been to a hockey game until I shot my first hockey game. Kind of funny, kind of ironic. I love telling that story or telling people when I say I work for the NHL that prior to documenting the sport, I wasn't too familiar with it. As this season has wrapped up, I'm definitely more aware of everything, things that I wasn't sure I would be able to pick up on as far as plays or what might happen, anticipation while shooting things, especially with certain teams and certain players. This is my first official job in the sports world as all of my MMA work has been through fighters themselves, their managers, sponsors, or even MMA gyms. A little bit of basketball, but mainly it's been MMA and boxing. Sports in general are not something totally new to me as far as capturing it. Starting off the season with last year's Stanley Cup winners, document the Banner raising at the T-Mobile Arena for the Vegas Golden Knights. Cool moment. All the players from that season on the ice raising the banner. They had a giant a slot machine, true Vegas fashion. You know, the first opening game of the season. Energy is high. Crowd is into it as returning champs be in the arena and see the atmosphere that Vegas has, whether that's local or visiting people that just want to catch a hockey game while they're in Vegas. You get a good mix of both in the crowd and also the opposing team. You get a good amount of their crowd, their fans, which there was more than I thought there would be. Like a random team from Missouri make the trek to Vegas on like a Tuesday game. The fans do support their team and will fly to Vegas. Also get a vacation out of it. Alex Petrangelo's 1,000th game. At the 1,000th game, they bring you a silver engraved hockey stick. His family was there too to watch a video montage from his former and current teammates about him as a player, as a father well, that he was able to share that moment with his wife and kids the gentleman looking sharp and fly as always on arrivals arrivals is always fun to capture it's kind of like the closest moment you'll get to one-on-one -on -one with the players coming off their bus or the vegas golden knights pulling up in their cars and walking to their locker room. It's just a cool home getting in that mindset, getting locked in to play the game. Getting to document from the Dallas bench was really awesome. During the games, there's way too much going on. Unless you're the staff photographer, even then you're probably not going to be on the bench during a period. But during warmups, there's a little bit less chaos on the bench. I was fortunate enough to talk to the Dallas Stars team. They were cool with letting me sneak on the bench to shoot warmups, being literally in the mix of things. Another thing I was able to check off the list, I got a warmup puck, the official warmup puck for round one, game three. 
Vegas Golden Knights versus the Dallas Stars. Shout out to my man Carl for getting me this cool little memorabilia. Goals like Wild Bill's goal that I also caught on GoPro. Mark Stone's goal from the fourth floor. Open netters are always cool. Anything shooting from the stands, you get that ambiance of the crowd whenever you catch a goal. You're in the excitement. One of my favorite things to do is capture walkouts. Again, it's just a cool little moment. You see them first walking out of the tunnel, hitting the ice. The lighting is trash and has can lights overhead, so everything is spotty. Lighting-wise, the tunnels are utter garbage in the arena, but the moment is cool. I did photograph both teams in the playoffs right now, the Oilers and Florida Panthers, so I'll toss some goodies up from both of those games. Shout out to Mike Kirschbaum for letting me borrow his lens, the one to 300 going up to the fourth floor and shooting with the big boy lens it's good and bad shooting with a long lens pro is obviously i get tighter from a further distance the con is because hockey is such a fast sport and there's so much moving if you are too tight in it can be hard to anticipate or get to where you need to go to where you think that puck is going being around hockey and the sport of it has been a lot of fun the atmosphere in the arena is always crazy. Fans, kids with signs, people seeing their favorite team or their favorite player is always a good time. Everyone's excited whether it's their team or not. Come out and maybe they get a puck. Maybe they get a, a stick even. It's definitely cool that the players interact with fans. Hockey is a very fast paced and kind of difficult sport to shoot. None of the positions are great. What I mean by that is if you get a photo hole, as it sounds, there's a sliding door in the glass. They are clear. You don't have a ton of room to pivot your body, follow the action as much as you would naturally like to. Some of the photo holes, you have a very small window in which you can point camera and get a clear shot, as well as you're worried about opening the door, shoving your camera in and closing it in the event that a puck or players come into the boards. The sliding door is there for their safety. That way they don't get a hand or anything caught on that opening. As well as you, you don't want a puck coming in, smashing your lens. If you are standing along the boards, the pro to that is you can move your body. You can turn and follow the action. Cons are you're usually crammed between broadcast cameras, their live feed, depending on some of the boards are really beat up. A lot of the times your images are going to be blurry or the seams get in your way. The downside is shots are just going to be shit angle in which you're trying to shoot through. If you're trying to shoot down the rink, most likely just a horrible shot, unusable. Moving up to the second floor or the fourth floor in regards to T-Mobile Arena, the third floor is like VIP suites, so I usually don't shoot from there. The pros to shooting from the second and fourth floor are a clear shot over the boards onto the ice. You get to see the whole action from that field of view, both sides, so you're not limited to one side or the other, which is a con shooting from a photo hole or along the boards. Once you're on that side, you are limited to really only getting the action if it's on your side. Con of shooting from two or four is A, you need a longer lens to get in the action. On the second and fourth floor, you are within the crowd, so you're kind of having to find very limited spots to shoot from that are not directly behind someone in the crowd or sitting in a wheelchair. Overall, this season has been really great. I've learned a lot about the sport of hockey, the Vegas Golden Knights, and how I can improve in my workflow, my speed and efficiency, putting what you know in my experience to use as well as learning new ones. Because I shoot for the social side of the league, everything needs to be uploaded and sent in real time as soon as possible. Just want to give a shout out to Nicole and the rest of the NHL for giving me this opportunity. Hopefully I'll be back next season. I would gladly do this time and time again. It's hard being from Vegas and it being my hometown because naturally I want to root for the Golden Knights, but I got to remember that I'm shooting for the league, so I need to be as unbiased as I can. If the opposing team scores a goal, I myself in my role, I'm stoked I got a sick celebration or awesome goal. The other part of me is, damn, you know, got scored on or struggle internally to be like, hell yeah, like I'm here for the content and the capture. I just want to get the best product, best result I can. Sometimes it comes at a cost to the home team in which deep down I am rooting for. If I'm doing photo, I will drop 
straight from the Canon R3 through Bluetooth to my phone, pick those handful of shots, minor tweaking, a little bit of exposure or brightness, upload it to the team. In order for me to drop video files to my phone through Bluetooth, I cannot shoot in Canon log. I just have to shoot in a regular profile. As long as you caught that moment and you caught that action, speed is going to trump all. In this case, me not shooting in C-Log doesn't matter. They don't care about it. We don't need to color grade it. That's not part of my deliverables. I can shoot it in log, but rather focus on speed. And if I could drop it, that video file straight from my camera to my phone, then that's going to take precedence. At the end of each period or at the end of the night, I will throw in photo mechanic, place those in photo mechanic, drop them to capture one, upload to the platform. I picked up a GoPro Max. It's been awesome for BTS and just a different perspective. I will throw the R3 in my small rig cage and then mount my GoPro to the small rig cage, flick it on, capture all 360 video, and then chop it up later. Yeah, that's been fun. Uh, I also shot some 35 millimeter this season, some good, some bad. I shot some VHS, again, a different look. I'm all about trying to see things in a different way. I was able to do an edit for the league of a full game recap, so I shot a full game on VHS. My favorite moment this season would probably have to be the Wild Bill Carlson goal while also capturing it on the GoPro. It just so happened that Chance Vegas Golden Knights mascot was behind me with two of the Vegas Viva girls. A really cool atmospheric perspective. I think I'm done rambling. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This has been fun. Hockey season. If you're a hockey fan, let me know. Maybe I'll see you next season at the games.